Hello, this is my first video for YouTube. I am going to compare a query run on the three different versions that you can have of Snowflake. The version that's run through Azure, the version that's run through GCP, and the version that's run through AWS. Uh, what I have here are four tables, as you can see right here. There are four tables plus a view, which contains data from the two big tables here. Um, I'll show you the sizes of the tables. I'm selecting from the GCP version because that's the only one that has just those four tables. So we have here 40 or no, 80 million rows, as you can see in this one. And this one is selected in the query from like three times and plus once in the view. This is 40 million, 48 million or so. The products dimension table has 155,000 rows. And the sales channels table has about um, 47 rows in it. So we're joining both of those. This is the query that I have here, as you can see. It is a fairly complex query. Uh, that actually pulls data ultimately from two years worth of data, but it's mostly one year worth of data. But there's one year worth of data in the DM daily inventory snapshot table. There's actually like six or eight years worth of data, but we're going to select one year worth of it from there. And we're going to see how long it takes. So this one is running on GCP. And I'm going to execute it here. And we're going to see, you know, it took 1.08 seconds, and that is because it was cached. So I'm going to try to do something so that it um, runs a select from it again where it is not cached. I know how long it will take uh, roughly in both of these, and this one is cached. Let's try that. Um... So this is going to take uh, roughly 20 seconds. I've run it uh, a few times in both of these platforms, and all three of them take roughly the same time as it happens. I'm interested in finding something that takes a significantly longer period of time on each of the plat on one of the platforms. This one took 18.82 seconds. I've run it before, and it took roughly that as well. Surprisingly enough, now this is the version that I have on AWS, which you would think would be the best version to run it on, right? Because it is the one that um, Snowflake uses its stuff, uh, does its stuff on. However, it's actually going to take, ordinarily it takes a little bit longer. As you can see from here, it is 22.74 seconds the last time I executed it. Let's run it this time as well. And it's probably going to take like about that, 20, 22 seconds which is a little bit longer than 18 seconds, which uh, is a little bit surprising, but it's uh, it's probably not that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. Um, so we will just continue to wait until this one is done. See, 22.06 seconds. So GCP took 18 seconds, and this one took 22 seconds, which uh, might be relevant to you or might not be. So this is now my version that is running on Azure. And let me go put another one in front of it because otherwise it will be cached. And after this, we'll look at the explain plan, which I think is kind of interesting in that um, I believe uh, typically you will find the explain plan will have the exact same number of partitions for every single one of these or very, very close to the exact same number of partitions, which is, uh, I also thought a little bit surprising. I thought the partition size might be a little different in either one of them, but, but it's not. It seems to be exactly the same. I've done on this one on Azure, as you can see, I have a couple of different versions of the daily inventory snapshot table where I ordered it in different ways, and I did get different number of, of uh, partitions. This one took 20.64 seconds, which is roughly about what it took before. So uh, basically what I'm finding for this particular query is that this one runs a little bit faster on 
Azure and a little bit faster still on GCP and slowest on AWS, which I think is surprising. So now this is the GCP. No, I'm sorry, this is the Azure version, right? Yes, this is the Azure version. Let's run an explain plan on the Azure version, and then we'll run an explain on the other two, and we will see slightly different versions. Now let's copy and let's just stick that here. So as you see, no, 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 this isn't the right one. Seemed to want me to log in a little bit there. So this has got 32 rows and the partition numbers of partitions is 165 partitions. Um, now this one and well let's look at the other one. Why don't we just do the exact same thing here because you'll find it seems to be pretty close to the same plan which is what I might expect. So as you see right down here again, there is 165 partitions, the exact same number. Now, this of course doesn't mean that there are 165 partitions in the table. There are actually, if I believe, if I recall correctly, something like 800 or 900 partitions in the table, but it's able to prune them from the database down to 165 partitions. Um, Let's go over here and we'll run the same plan over here. This is uh, giving me a little bit of grief here, as it usually does. Not too bad, not too bad. You have to remember this query I execute on my Postgres database. It takes 45 minutes to run on my Postgres database, um, which is pretty, I would say, pretty shocking. It takes 45 minutes. Bear in mind, in my Postgres database, it's 45 minutes to run. And this one takes 20 seconds to run on Snowflake. So you can see that Snowflake is quite a bit better. Now there we go, 165 partitions. So it would seem that the partition size is exactly the same for all three. Uh, I think that that's pretty interesting.